Come on, guys. Let me turn this down. Well, <laughs> another day. Got up, uh, did some stuff in the morning, and got here to work. And we're starting a vlog here at work. It's Saturday. Um, it's my mom's birthday, and so we are going out tonight to the uh, to the steakhouse. Taking her out to the steakhouse because um, I, <laughs> ironically, uh, the other day when uh, we saw the. Um, uh, I think it was the uh, It's a Road vlog, uh, where I went to go see the movie 31 with Rob Zombie, or the uh, the movie directed by Rob Zombie. I did a little review on that. I'll, you'll see that uh, you'll see that by the time you see this. Uh, hopefully, if you're interested in that stuff, you guys know I'm a kind of a horror movie addict. So anyway, well, <laughs> so watch that movie, The Clown or Clown last night. I saw that. Uh, that was interesting because that wasn't your usual like. Uh, I guess, in a sense, serial killer clown running around doing his thing. It was kind of like the guy couldn't get the suit off. So that, and I'm claustrophobic, so that definitely uh, got me to cringe a little. <laughs> so, um, but you know, the the really cool thing about that movie was um, for me the it was the fact that it it started life as a YouTube project. Um, some people got together, and made a, a, a like a phony YouTube trailer of that, and tagged in the director's name and all that so that that as being a part of a as being a youtuber i thought that was really cool so stuff like that but anyway nothing beats going home and watching real bravo or something like that i i no matter what um i could you could sit me down and play real bravo 10 times over and uh i'm okay with it it's not uh, it's not torture at all in fact uh grab me uh, some extra popcorn and some hot dogs and pizza and let's let's have a party because <laughs> i can watch that movie all day long so down here at work it's probably they, what they said was there's gonna be a like it's, today is a big canoe race or something like that so don't know how busy it's going to be and things like that so i don't know Mom's birthday tonight. We're going out to the uh, the good old steakhouse. Got to treat family well, especially your mother, because um, uh, she carried me and you. <laughs> so uh, anyway, yeah, we're doing that tonight. Um, see how that goes. Shipped off a uh, ship. Finally uh, shipped off um, uh, Santee's package from the winnings. Sorry it took so long, but we we're just kind of getting the box and putting everything in it and everything like that uh, and getting to the uh, the post office um, post office today this morning wasn't very busy good good for that <laughs> so all right let's get this day started I did want to talk about something real quick and this was a, uh, a really neat message that I got and I actually did want to talk about this because it is a, a big reason to that I enjoy doing what I do as far as the classic stuff uh, you know if you want to call it classic I, I guess it has become classic but um, Varen left me a, a comment and it says um, the love for the old guns in history that um, you know he likes all that and he says so many channels are nothing but black plastic you know guns um, I'm not knocking that stuff. Uh, you know, everybody. I think it, it, it serves its pr purpose. But um, you're absolutely right, though. And for me, I wanted to change, change a lot of stuff up. Um, what I noticed was because I love revolvers so much. Um, I, on YouTube, it was very rare to come across a channel that was just like, you know, me. Uh, there's a channel here and there that has a revolver or two, or, or three, or, or more. Um, as we all know, the the great Hickok 45 has quite a bit, but nobody really just like like dedicated really their channel to it, and that's what I kind of wanted to do was really just say you like revolvers, this is the channel to go to because I like them too, and I, I have many 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 revolvers. Um, I buy revolvers like crazy and just like a, a revolver holic. Hey, that's an idea for a video. Might be coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I like old guns. There's something about blued steel and wood. It, it just, it, you know, I, I love, that's something that grabs me. Um, I'm nothing wrong with stainless. I, I'm not the biggest stainless uh, fan. There's a couple guns in stainless that I'd like to have. But uh, re really, I think uh, 
look thinking about it, I think I only have the 629 Smith & Wesson in stainless. Um, and that's a really cool gun. That's a high polish stainless too. So it has a nice lustrous look. But no, yes, absolutely. Love the old guns. I love the old guns. So JW's Radio episode 29 is out. And for those of you, I wonder if you caught, well, I guess the picture doesn't really uh, have too much detail, but it's a, I wanted the picture, the thumbnail is a low light picture, um, big, nice American flag in the background. And guess what? For episode number 29, they got a Smith & Wesson Model 29 being displayed out there. <laughs> so nothing more American than that. The flag and that gun, Dirty Harry, it's history. Elmer Keith, 1955, when that thing came out busted out on the market. The history between the Model 29 is just amazing um, with Elmer Keith and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, the Remington saying, well, we'll make the cartridge if Smith & Wesson makes the gun and all that stuff. And, you know, that that's really cool. And to think that it wasn't even called the Model 29 yet. <laughs> so, yes, love the old stuff, love the old revolvers. It's kind of why I do it and things like that. Yes. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. I do like the uh, the black guns and stuff like that as well. But uh, I think uh, anybody that searches the channel and looks through the catalog of this channel, you will see that there is a lot more classic guns and things like that on there. It just definitely is is a passion of mine. A lot of Colt snubbies, Colt revolvers, Python, Smith and Wesson double action revolvers. My favorite, of course, my personal love for the single action pistol with John Wayne and all that, you're definitely going to find those things right here on the Batjack JW channel. So, oh, well, not this channel. This is the vlog channel. <laughs> so, all right, we'll see how this day goes. Uh, yeah, the canoe race may affect our business, but it's a short day today. And look at that. We're already rolling around to noon. As you can see, this is one full parking lot. There is no place for most anybody to park, and that is why it is exceptionally slow today because of the canoe races. I'm not even sure. If, man, I don't know. I don't even know if we should stay open, to be honest with you. Oh, there's one spot, one spot right there. But that's it. Wow. They even blocked off the uh, entrance on the other side of the parking lot. Hmm. This is probably one of the most boring days at work. It's not even uh, 1.30 yet. On 10 minutes it will be. One twenty. There is so many people parked in the parking lot. I don't think anybody can get into this place, let alone get into our, our shop. So, hmm, what to do? I'm kind of saving my calories count for today for dinner with mom, so I'm not really gonna go and eat anything not really hungry to tell you the truth. I don't know. Ugh, this is so boring. I honestly probably should have just taken today off. I am getting on out of here. Uh, getting off work. Done with work. Um, going home. Going home to get ready to go out with uh, my mom for her birthday dinner. So work was extremely slow because of this uh, canoe race thing that was going on. I uh, should have kind of known that that was what was going to happen, but it's all right. Still a few people came in, got a little bit of business done, but uh, of course uh, nothing amazing because of the canoe races. And uh, yeah, still it's good to still go to work and open the doors and keep it open so that's always good so heading home looks a little gray up the hill we'll see if it rains uh, it does it looks all right uh, this weekend doesn't look like uh, any type of uh, stormy weather but of course now that I say that it might be I don't know we'll see 
we'll see what happens. We are getting ready to uh, head on out. Getting ready to go. So, um, I'll take the camera along with me because I don't. Um, it's kind of a neat place where where this restaurant is, and it's uh, in. I guess you could say. Well, it's about one hour. Is it uh, about a forty-minute drive from here? I'm not driving, <laughs> nor am I taking my car. That's the secret. Six a.m. It's me. <laughs> well, here we are down at uh, Manalani to go to the steakhouse. There's where we're going. No, we're not early. We're on time. Let's take a selfie. A selfie? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, take it. Get to the. Okay. Where is it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> you want me to take it? <laughs> but, oh, look, Jams World Hawaii. Yeah, I have the camera on. Okay. So, are we going up? Yep. By 30. Yeah, I made a reservation. Yeah. No, don't You already had oysters. a little stare. You had oysters yesterday. You had oysters? Yeah, you had oysters yesterday. And here we are. No, you have to eat this. They're special. Oh, this is the special. This is what makes it worth it. You can do the lamb chops if you want. For your very first time, <laughs> I'm trying escargot. <laughs> this is a snail. Yeah. This is actually not bad. It's really good. See? It's not, I mean, if you didn't, if somebody didn't tell you it was a snail, you wouldn't know. Oh, that's a steak. <laughs> Flaming strawberries. Oh shit, by the time my damn camera come out, it'll be done. <laughs> it's done. Oh shit. It's kind of raining. Okay. What's up, you guys? Well, uh, the night has come to a close. It is 
uh, rather a hot night tonight. Um, not sure if that has anything to do with the storm or it's just because the summers are getting hotter uh, out here. But anyway, as you saw, went to the uh, Ruth's Chris Steakhouse for my mom's birthday down there at Monolani. So that's what she likes to do. That's where she likes to go. So took her there. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> definitely going to probably have to walk that steak off. But you see, I knew I was going there today. I kind of want... I, I, Got a, I knew, so uh, I saved my calorie count for the day. Um, did not eat breakfast, did not eat lunch, uh, specifically because I knew that uh, that dinner was probably going to be enough calories to wipe you out for the day. So uh, knowing that ahead of time, uh, that's went there uh, knowing that it's going to be a calorie stock uh, stacking thing. Uh, I did try escargot for the very first time. That's something I would not have eaten. Uh, um, but I always try to try something once. Uh, usually I try. Uh, there's a lot of things I won't try. Uh, but that was just something that I was like, you know what? I'll, I'll just, uh, I'll try it. Uh, you know, I'll just do it <laughs> and try it. Um, is it something I would order and, and just specifically order? No. Um, but is it something I tried? Yes. Uh, did it taste all that bad? No, not at all. So there you go. Anyway, um, you gotta you gotta live a little sometimes and uh, take an adventure, take a step forward, and and try to do something. Like if I hadn't have taken a step out of uh, a job that I was doing, uh, I would have never landed in the in the gun business where I'm at. So you gotta do something like that every now and then. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed it. Got some footage of Manalani for you. That's the uh, nicer part of the. Uh, I guess that's where uh, the fancy hotel and everything is. So. Got some little footage for you out there messing around and things like that. So, yeah, that's it. Tomorrow's Sunday. Looking forward to it already. Uh, it's my day first. My, it's, my, it's basically my Saturday. Today's my Friday. So, I'll see you tomorrow. And that's that. Did you find Bruce?